it was nearly a record snowfall and most of us spent the day digging out from up to three feet of the white stuff. Governor Cuomo declared a state of emergency in 18 counties, including most of the capital region. Plows had a hard time keeping up, so streets were hard to get through or impossible to navigate. There were hundreds of accidents across the state and at least two fatalities. One was a snowmobiler who hit a truck while riding on Interstate 787 in em Albany. Emily Burkhart begins our storm coverage. She is in Troy. Hi, Emily. Hey, Mark Benita, things definitely looking better here in the Collar City tonight than they did this morning. It was all hands on deck getting to this point, but this cleanup effort is far from over. Fortunately, though, everyone I spoke with here today was in pretty good spirits. In Waterville, about a half a dozen cars became stuck under the 787 overpass. Fortunately, plows came quickly to clean that area up. But there were still significant snowbanks to dig out around cars. It's an all day thing. Good thing I had today off of work. Ken Gordon says he doesn't mind shoveling too much so long as he can take plenty of water breaks, though he says he hasn't ever seen a storm like this. You know, I've been living in Water Vliet for almost 40 years, and it's like, yeah, you get used to it, you don't get used to it. I'm moving to Florida. Ken says it took him about an hour to dig out the car that was in this spot. He says he's got two more to dig out before the end of the day, but he got an early start and he got it off the road before they're going to come to plow from curb to curb. Other people like the people who own this car behind me here still have a lot of work to do. Across the river in Troy, Laura Dinan was just starting to dig out her car. Probably about 30 minutes, maybe. Heavy snow, but at least everybody's going to have a white Christmas. <laughs> Down the street, Samantha Bristol and Gerald McDougall were lending a hand to those getting stuck in the intersections. We walk out and there's a car stuck, so we decided to help them. It's on our way anyways. And then we walk in down here and saw this one in the middle of the road in a diagonal blocking traffic. We walked down to see what was up and pushed them to a parking lot. A stark but not unexpected contrast from the weather we've been seeing. Best place to live. There's sun and a fall day, and then there's this the next morning. Welcome to New York for that. City officials in both Waterville and Troy have declared states of, excuse me, snow emergencies. You can find more information about what that means for parking and snow removal over the next several days on our website, WNYT.com. Reporting live in Troy, Emily Burkhardt, News Channel 13. Jerry Mark, back to, or excuse me, Benita Mark, back to you. Emily, thank you.